Oh. So a few weeks ago now, I showed you guys what I called my commonplace. And I talked to you about the importance of going out and uh, creating a portfolio of compositions to go off of in case weather conditions become favorable, which right now, fingers crossed, it looks like the weather conditions are favorable. Now this late winter storm had me pretty optimistic to see if the mountain peaks was gonna get covered with a flurry of snow. However, once I got on location, I realized that this was just going to be a wet, rainy mess. I went ahead and checked my weather forecast though, and the next few days looked very promising for some snow. So I spent the afternoon walking around, looking at the various areas to see which area I wanted to go to exactly in case that snow actually did roll in the way I was hoping. I did find a couple compositions and these are what those images look like. Good morning guys. So can't really film any B-roll because it's still pretty dark out. Still got about close to an hour till sunrise. The reason I'm out here so early is I wanted to be able to um, walk as close as I can to these mountains and get some foreground. It's currently snowing a little bit, which is cool. So hopefully I can get up here maybe as I get closer to the peaks, a little higher elevation. I'll see a little bit of snow on some foreground elements, which would be awesome. I can see one other light up here, so somebody else might be up here already, but as we get closer, I'll definitely start to film a little bit, do a little bit of B-roll and walk you guys through some compositions I'm looking at. I have a really good idea of what I want, but definitely just wanted to make sure I'm in the right spot before sunrise really kicks off, which I'm hoping we'll get some light on the peaks. Didn't look like there was a ton of clouds over where the sun's gonna be coming up. So, yeah. So that's a good sign. That's what we want. We want some snow maybe on some cactuses. So, definitely think uh, what we're doing here is the right thing. So it's a good practice to try and give yourself as much time as possible, even if you're in a location that you're comfortable with. Especially when you're chasing fleeting conditions like I was this morning, I wanted to make sure that I could lay eyes on every single composition I had in my back pocket before I committed to one because I might have had only one opportunity. shooting right now I had taken it just because I have a few minutes to kill and um, I'm in a spot that I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna shoot from up here before I go down and shoot that creek shot later but I think we're gonna get some light so I'm gonna be able to get this this grand scene but this vertical shot I'm taking right here might turn out to be decent I don't know just killing some time with some blue hour light here might walk up a little bit I still got about 20 minutes about 15 minutes until sunrise so definitely gonna start kind of framing up my main composition but yeah this shot is pretty simple just really close to that uh, cactus there and then having to focus stack uh, throughout just to make sure i have everything sharp from front to back so beautiful morning this is 
this is incredible. So I'm very happy that I am out here this morning. But I'm going to frame up probably what is going to be a massive pano. So let's go find a good shot for that. Okay, so what I really like about this composition is the flipping of what's near and what's far. So I have this yucca on the bottom side, or sorry, this uh, choya on this side, the yucca in the middle, choya here, and then up top, one peak all the way to the smaller peaks. So you got near to far, then you have near too far and then obviously all this atmosphere over here and some texture so now we just need to hope that the uh, sun illuminates this scene because if it does man is it going to be I'm I think it I got a good shot here so pretty happy with how this is looking and then should be able to have good light enough to go shoot everything else on the way back to the van but pretty happy with this composition so far now, the other important thing is tripod height and the pitch or the tilt of your camera um, it is helping me be able to kind of distort some uh, aspects. It's not as much because I'm not shooting vertical. I did try shooting a vertical panel of this, but I'm, I'm actually just liking the straight horizontal frame. Um, but that distortion kind of helps stretch and elongate some things. So, um, but by getting a little bit lower to the subject and not having my tripod up so high, I'm able to actually remove a lot of the mid-ground, um, which cleans up the composition immensely. Um, I could shoot higher and include a lot of this, but it's just not the same. It's definitely a lot cleaner being lower um, and, and taking in all this foreground with all this snow on it. Um, I'm just waiting for this light now to kick off. So, but getting a lot of good atmosphere too, man. What a morning. Well, we are past sunrise by about you know, 10 minutes. I don't know if we're gonna get any light. We're getting some over here, so maybe, maybe it will creep over. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get any light, guys. It's kind of a bummer. So there's a little bit of hope. I mean, it's getting brighter over there. And getting some color here. You know, maybe it's just needs a couple of minutes. God, if I can just get a little strip of light on this, oh, it would absolutely make this scene. I'm gonna be patient. Gonna be patient. Still an amazing morning. I think the blue hour look is gonna be awesome. But man, if, this, if we could just get a little light, cause the peak is just absolutely getting swarmed right now with clouds. And it's just getting lower and lower. Oh, that looks good. Here's to hoping. To be honest, I was more just trying to talk myself into the blue hour light. I knew that this shot really needed that direct light to make it. And thankfully, patience started to pay off. It's doing it. It's doing the thing. Oh my God. I mean, look at that, guys. Holy crap. <sighs> oh. Patience and perseverance. What a freaking morning.
couldn't tell, I was just a touch excited about this image. And to make things even better, the photography was far from over. This is exactly why I was very strategic with being in this spot, knowing exactly where to go. You know, we checked out a couple of spots, but I knew there was tons of foreground up here and I could shoot in all directions. And now, whew, am I getting some awesome, awesome shots. Simple, but beautiful. I also shot this as a panorama and this is how that turned out. So it doesn't want to unroll. It's where you will have to roll it reverse to get it to flatten out. So now we'll just put these little guys out so we can take a look. Yeah, I'm really happy with how the colors and tones worked out in this image. It looks really good and it looks incredible in this metallic paper. What I love about this metallic paper is just the iridescent glow that you get in the highlight areas. It just looks absolutely incredible. The depth, the contrast, like if you really want something in your, your house to stand out, definitely this metallic paper photo or photo paper is the way to go. Overall, such an amazing morning, waiting and being patient for that light to kick off and cut underneath the storm clouds, and it finally did. Shoot, this, this is definitely one, probably gonna be up there in my top, top photos that I've captured so far. Yeah.